Hello everyone, uh, my name is Brutus, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to kill the Wyvern mini boss that we encounter in Arch Dragon Peak. Now, if at any point in this video I accidentally called this enemy a boss instead of a mini boss, I do apologize. It's not the ancient Wyvern boss, uh, but actually the mini boss that you encounter after it. Now, you know from killing the ancient Wyvern that you're able to one shot that enemy using a plunging attack, but that's not the case here. You actually have to fight him one on one, which is a lot easier than it actually looks. This guy looks very imposing, but he's actually a huge pushover. A lot of people swear by a ranged strategy, but I find that to just be tedious and expensive unless you have a ranged character specially built. And also, I just think it's easier and quicker to kill it using melee as I demonstrated in this video. Firstly, I'm coming in from the Great Belfry bonfire. You don't have to do that, you can actually just kill him the first time you encounter him. All you have to do is run to this point where the boss lands and then position yourself directly in front of his head. From this point, there are only two attacks that this enemy does that can actually hit you. There's its neck swipe and fire breath attacks. All of these attacks project really, really obviously and they're very easy to avoid. This mini boss is actually tethered to this spot, so no matter what you do, he actually won't move forwards or backwards. If you move too far away, he'll just fly back. When you see him bracing himself for his next swipe, all you do is move backwards and it'll miss you completely or you can block it with your shield. And when you see him priming his fire breath attack, all you do is move forwards so that you are past his head and start attacking his neck. The fire breath won't be able to hit you if you're in this position. Lastly, this enemy also has an attack where it flies into the air and breathes fire onto the ground, but all you have to do is walk backwards if it does this. Uh, it actually has a very short range and uh, not a lot of AoE on that attack, so don't worry about it. The most dangerous and frustrating and unpredictable thing about fighting this enemy is actually the camera. The head of the Wyvern will clip into the camera pretty frequently, which really causes it to just go nuts. You won't be able to see where you are, where you're facing, and you might get hit by an attack or two, but don't panic. It's so slow that it's very easy to just roll back and heal, as you see a few times in this video. Don't spam roll because it's possible to roll off a ledge as a result of the camera just really frizzing out. Just stay calm, just stay chill, it's, it's not a huge deal. This enemy is completely optional and you don't have to kill it. In fact, some people will actually tell you that it's better not to kill this enemy because you can use its fire attacks to kill all the rock lizards that are along this path. But personally, I just wanted to and this mini boss also drops pretty good loot so I think it's worth the effort. And that's pretty much it. I hope everybody is enjoying Dark Souls 3. I'm personally loving it so far. I'm right at the end of my first playthrough and I've just adored it. There's a couple of issues, especially with online connectivity for me at the moment, but I won't really go into that. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if it was, and I'll see you guys around.